Andrew McCart, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, and I've got to say I'm delighted to be joined by the Cray Twins themselves. No, I'm only joking. Peter and Patrick Payton, listen, Patrick, when I saw you at uh, Kinnick Gym a few, few months ago, was it? Yeah. A few months ago, I said, I'll get you on IFL TV, and Peter, obviously, you're the big brother, so I'll start with you. Superstars, Scotland's next superstars. I'm going to say it out now, right? Everyone knows on the IFL that I'm a biased, a biased jock, it's, it's fair to say, but... Used two young fighters coming through. Just tell the people, the viewers and people that watch NFL TV a little bit about what you've achieved in amateur and maybe break down your fighting style, so to speak. Well, uh, two-time national champion, uh, current Scottish featherweight champion, and uh, tall, rangy, but back foot fighter, front foot fighter. Got a little bit of, little, uh, little bit of everything, they, they say, right? Patrick. Seen you fight uh, in a Scottish v England skill belt uh, again a couple of months ago. Um, another skillful, talented young fighter that's coming out of that uh, boxing Scotland scene. So break down your sort of achievements as an amateur as well in your skill set. I've won four Scottish titles, British title, European silver medal, and I'm on the elite boxing team. As the big brother, you just get pissed off that your wee, your wee brother's got all them, all them medals in that house? Nah, it's I'm believing uh, my achievements, but he knows who the boss is. Yeah, he's, got, he's got the belt. He's got the belt. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, nice, the nice seconds out uh, belt there. See, that's that's what everyone's after. The reason I wanted to get you on the, on the channel is obviously Scottish boxing right now. From back in me and your dad's day, there was maybe you had Jim Watt, Ken Buchanan before him. Then you might have Paul Weir. There was always that one guy coming out of Scotland. But now it's starting to seem like we've got Josh Taylor at the top, we've got Lee McGregor coming along, we've got the young fighters on the, this build today, and like Joe Hamm and Kieran Smith and all these guys. But for young amateurs like yourself, when you see these shows at the Hydro and how good this Hydro is, I'm, I'm guessing you've been here at a Josh Taylor fight, this arena here and what Josh Taylor has achieved, you must be excited to kick on a little bit on your amateur career, get all that experience, and then maybe one day turn pro. Is that sort of the game plan going forward, Peter? Uh, definitely, it's... So many names out there that are coming through as well. There's not just me and him, you know, there's hammers in the amateur scene that's booming, to be honest with you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've probably got ambitions as well to, to fight this this uh, stadium. Well, not a stadium, it's not a, a big arena. A big arena. You, again, you've probably seen Josh fight here a few times. So when you see this arena, and, I mean, it's not at capacity tonight, but when it is at capacity, man, does that give you chills down your spine and maybe one day a dream to fight here? Aye, hopefully one day, but then I just... Get a good platform in the Scotland team, hopefully stay on there, try and get some gold medals and go to GB one day maybe. Is that the goal, maybe a come of Games Olympics? Aye, with the platform you get now, that's not this, I've been down GB this week, sparring, training, you see how different it is to just training at your club, obviously, and hopefully now he's on the team, and we get it together, that'd be good. Is that the sort of goal as well for you, Peter? Is that that sort of come of games? Maybe Olympics? Who knows what can happen in the future? Uh, definitely. Well, obviously it won't be in the come of games coming up, but you know, it'll be a good age for the next one. Hopefully, it's a plan. What I will say as well is, like going back to what I've previously said, then Scotland, our world champions, we've always had one champion. We've always had Ken Buchanan, Jim Watt, Paul Weir, Alex Arthur, Ricky Burns, Josh Taylor. Do you know what I mean? We've always had that one, but as brothers. We've now had two world champions. I, I'm, I'm probably getting ahead of myself because you're still only young amateurs, but let me dream, all right? Will, do, can you see like Scotland having these, these multiple world champions at one time and maybe yourselves holding them world titles as well? Aye, definitely. I mean, the amateur scene in Scotland right now is, is very good. It's really, really good. And, you know, you've got a lot of young pros coming through as well. That So maybe even some fighting the night, you know, the good, good, good fighters. No, it's a kind of credit to boxing Scotland and stuff, the way, the pathway... Works now it's a lot different than it was years ago. Like the opportunity boys get, they've got like Sam Reese down GB, so now I think Scotland's starting to get a wee bit more respected, obviously. The stuff like guys Josh has done, I think now we are starting to get a bit more recognition. Talk about opportunities, you've just had a, a great little stint to America, wildcard gym, sparring, then Gleason's gym in New York. How was that experience for you? Oh, unbelievable. The training, so different. All the guys in America, can I, can I buy it? Was it, was it tough sparring out there? Aye. I was sparring a uh, former bantamweight world champion, a Mongolian amateur, and then there was guys like Matty, he was in sparring, WBC featherweight champion. Mark just Mark McZile, yeah. Aye, so just to see guys like that and about the gym, what they do on a daily basis, and just in gym, talking to Freddie Roach, it's just Experience. unbelievable. Man. You might be seeing all these spawn partners, you're still the toughest spawn partners he's had, right? 100%. Definitely. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 I used to have a few days of me at you. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like, obviously, coming? I might your dad's over there to film, filming me, film, me filming them. Um, 
it was, what's it like growing up in a, a boxing family with the two years? Obviously, when you fight, how nervous are you? Obviously, you're all right probably when you fight yourself, but are you more nervous when you're watching your brother fight than you are? Is it sort of vice versa? Is that what it is? I get a wee bit nervous for my own fights, but watching his fights, I hate it. I don't like it at all. No, no it's good having a brother in boxing, obviously, because he was... He started off a bit better than me. He would kind of hit the ground running, and he's been, been my role model over the years, just to kind of keep me, keep me in good stuff. That was that, Peter. That's probably that, that's a, that, a role model. Younger brother said you're the, you're the role model. How does that make you feel, man? I don't know about that, man. He's, he's, he's pretty big time, isn't he? <laughs> is he the big time? Uh, he is big time. Yeah, <laughs> America, no, he, man. I'll, I'll give him that. He's uh, he's been good to watch, and now having him back in, he took a wee break. Having him back in now is just kind of bringing me. Can that be extra motivation to have him back in training with me? Good stuff, good stuff. One final one for me then. Obviously, you're, you're obviously training, you're going down to GB and all this sort of stuff. So what is next? What is in the pipeline for the next few months? Well, I've got the British at the end of Three Nations at the end of this month. So good in there. Hopefully do well. Do well, you mean win? Yeah, come back with a gold medal. Yeah. And, you know, who knows what the future holds? Uh, just kind of same. Hopefully try and get to the British Championships and then... Maybe a wee break over the summer and then try and get some gold medals international next year. I'm sure them gold medals will come in and I will say, it's always good to see you smile, boys. There you go, let me see them smiles. There they are, see? There you. Don't worry, it's only me talking to you as well, like I said. But listen, IFL TV debut, no doubt this will probably be the first of many. If you keep doing what you're doing, keep cracking these amateur scene, keep winning these gold medals, then who knows what the future holds for you. And my camera will always be on, my mic will always be in your face, so... Listen, keep doing what you're doing, boys, and I'm looking forward to the future. Thanks very much, Andy, I appreciate, appreciate that. it. Thank you. Cheers, boys, thanks very much, cheers. Welcome, Team Everlast, to the Team Everlast Fitness Act. Download the Everlast Fitness app and find your greatness within.